Welcome to Realty Reality. This week, we join three lovely ladies in sunny Kelowna as they explore townhomes in the area. My name is Kim Holmes, uh, I'm 28, I'm a realtor. I relocated here about two years ago. Um, I met my boyfriend Ryan when we were 13 years old. <laughs> we started off as really good friends, we've been together for about three years now. He works up north, so he basically does what a lot of people do in Kelowna. He comes here for his time off and goes to Alberta. Um, he's an electrician out there. Has Kim ever thought about moving to Alberta to join him? I am totally against moving to Alberta. I told him from the very beginning, you can go away, I want to stay here, I love Kelowna life, I love living here, I wouldn't give this up for anything. Who could blame her for that decision? People that are working in Alberta or Saskatchewan, it's just as easy for them to hop on a plane because they've got to commute anyways. And what they're wanting to do is invest here in the beautiful Okanagan Valley and their lifestyles are so relaxing when they're not working. Well, in my spare time, I love to do yoga, I teach dance, I teach cheerleading, um, I love to be active, um, love to do anything outdoors. Um, that's kind of my happy place, my way that I can just kind of let go of any stress in my life. In Kelowna here, there are tons of parks. We've got dog parks, we've got water parks, we have even have parks out on the water, which is fantastic. Uh, right now we're renting in West Kelowna, we're renting a condo, which is good for me, but I find when we're both there, there's just way, it's way too cramped. Uh, we're looking for some more space, looking to upsize, hopefully get into a townhome or a home. Kim and I are going to be looking for a brand new townhome, or almost new, um, just somewhere that her and her boyfriend can have a new start. This is going to be their first home purchase, and they want to be close to all of the action that we have here in Kelowna. They want to dine, and that's really important for them. Townhouses are great options for urbanites who want to live close to the downtown core and Kelowna is rapidly building more and more new strata developments that are close to all the action. In the past, people have thought about townhomes as a gateway into home purchasing that single family residential home, but it's not the case right now. What I'm finding is people really want that carefree living. So what's on their wish list? A big closet. <laughs> Has to have a big closet. Yeah, definitely a big closet. Uh, a nice big open concept kitchen would be my other thing, but closet number one. Uh, probably two to three bedrooms and definitely two bathrooms. So we share a bathroom right now and I don't want to do that anymore. In terms of price range, we're probably looking for 350 to five max, I would think, yeah. For under $500,000, we're gonna find a beautiful place for Kim and Ryan. We're gonna find them a brand new place that they're gonna have new home warranty and that they can just walk away and be carefree and enjoy each other. Welcome back to Kelowna. Kim and her boyfriend Ryan, who works up north in Alberta, are first time buyers looking for a new townhouse close to local amenities. They want something with two to three bedrooms, an open concept kitchen, and above all else, a large closet for all of Kim's clothing needs. First up is a brand new development called Skyview Terrace, which is about two kilometers from downtown Kelowna. With 1,600 square feet of living space, this home has two bedrooms and three bathrooms and is listed for $439.9. Kim, I know you're gonna love this place. Oh my goodness. Isn't it so fun? It's so I love it. This is so me. Like, I love the bright, the white, the crispness. I knew, I knew you were gonna love this. Yeah. The perfect coffee maker for you and Ryan. Oh, okay, he is like a coffee <laughs> fanatic. Like he would honestly drink like 10 cups a day. Like this, he will buy this place because this is Just here. because of this? Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Do you like these, these cupboards? How do they open? If you press and oh, open. Oh, that is different, hey? You're gonna have to clean them all the time. Can you but... see fingerprints when you put them? Oh, a little bit. And I really like that there's a gas range. I know. Yeah. This feels like you already. Yeah. You've only yeah. been in the kitchen. I'll take the furniture too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I love, I am so into white leather right now. We'll, we'll definitely ask for the furniture too. Yeah, definitely. Look at this little spot. I know, hey, this is so cute. I could have my little desk here. Perfect yeah. little place for the dog house when Ryan comes in here. Yeah, <laughs> so go to the corner. I don't know if Ryan will fit in here. I want to watch TV, leave. <laughs> So this is the second bedroom, Kim, which is, oh my wow. gosh. Look at hey, this look closet. at that closet. And this is not the master. No. Oh my goodness. That's almost the size of this room. I could have two closets. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a cheater ensuite here. Wow. wow. This is great. Look at the shower head. Yeah. Are you a fan of the double door here, though? You know what, you guys? You'd have to. You'd have to. Keep one of them closed for oh, sure. Oh yeah, I guess I see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to the oh, master. Yeah, this is nice. A nice view of downtown. It's really bright. Ooh. Two sinks, so that's definitely a bonus. I love that, and that's definitely something that I would be looking for. And what I have right now, I don't have any like drawers, so this would be much better. Okay, Kim, we know that this is really important for you. Yeah. Your closet. That's, that's what Kimmy that's wants. One. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. I know. I like the built ins. Like, I like that it has the drawers, but I actually prefer the other closet for space. For master bedroom, that's oh, really small. Like, honey, you can, this can be your accessory closet. Yeah. We'll, we'll, give Ryan, we'll give Ryan these three drawers. He gets one drawer. And you can put your shoes and your purses. Yes. And you can keep your clothes in the, the other, other closet. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. That would, that would work. Two closets, I'll take it. <laughs> Ryan stuck with one drawer. That's perfect. <laughs> ah, this is my favorite part. Oh, oh my, my goodness. This is like it has everything. It a hot tub, too. Wow. Oh Literally, gosh. I would spend like my entire time out here. I don't think I would get anything done. Oh, get a margarita in my yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Cam? Like, this is like the ultimate party place. Yeah. yeah. Love that you can have like so people up here and be loud and not really have to worry because there's not really anyone. Should we do a test? <laughs> Five, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, eight. Woo! <laughs> And all you gotta do is put Ryan on the barbecue and you're set all night long. Yeah, this is really nice. I love this. This is. I do think Kim liked it a lot. I think she might be a little worried on whether Ryan will like it. So we're definitely gonna keep this at the top of the list and when Ryan comes here, we'll go through it. I love the design. I love the look that they did here. It's totally different. It's modern. It's totally me. The only thing is Ryan is like so traditional and I'm yeah. like so modern. So I feel like he would be like, okay, this is a little Very too, yeah. over the top. Yeah, yeah. 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 It it's not his style at all. So that would definitely be something that I'd have to take into consideration for sure. Yeah. More and more people are leaving the suburbs and opting to live in urban centers. How does this development score on an urban living scale? Well, welcome to urban living. I would have to say that this townhouse has a lot of things that people who want uh, to live in an urban environment have. Uh, for example, I mean, look at this great rooftop patio for starters. It's close to a lot of the things that people are looking for um, in terms of urban living. So it's close to schools. Um, it's close to actually one of our main active transportation corridors called Rails with Trails, which I think is, is really important because people want to drive less. They want to spend a lot less time in their cars. They want to be walking, riding their bikes. So this townhouse complex probably has um, a number of, of factors that I think are, are, are great selling features. House 2 takes us a little further out of town. This two-floor townhome is also brand new and has a ton of room with 2,200 square feet of living space. It's listed for 499000 Oh, this is nice and welcoming. I like the spacious opening. It's really big. Yeah. What's this for? Nice little closet. Yeah. <gasps> oh, hey, we've got hard hats. You know that this is under, still under construction, so... I think we should have hard hats. Yeah. <laughs> blue, white, yellow. What color I'll do you guys want? Blue. I'll take white. I'll take sunshine. How does it look? <laughs> sunshine. Oh, <laughs> All right. We're styling. Yeah. Where's the runway?
All right, let's explore, ladies. Oh, I really like this. Wow. This is like, feels like a homey kitchen to me. It does. Like, I could picture myself, you know, cooking. Way more drawer space. The cupboards are really nice, too. And I like that they go up, you know, there's not that space above. Oh, yeah. No dust. Yeah, no dust, exactly. Yeah. You know what? You have an amazing view from in here, Kim. Yeah. And this is a good extension of your living space. Yeah. Right. And private. Oh, and that's off the master. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, that's really nice. I like that. Oh, this is so pretty. The oh, white I love in here. this. I love the, all the white. It's very like serene. Okay, okay, important test. <laughs> Fingers oh, crossed. Oh, okay. Oh, that yeah. Good. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's lots of space. Yeah. So we've got Ryan's yeah. little section here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and this is a really nice ensuite. Yes. Oh, you, this is you perfect. you got your bathtub. So yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, yeah. I like that. Fun. So we have a powder room right here, which Perfect. is handy. Yeah, that's... right off the kitchen, I like that. Okay, let's go downstairs. This is still under construction, so there's going to be some... Oh. Look how bright it is. This is welcoming. Yes. This oh, is like... Hey! Hey! Little bar. Oh, all right. This is perfect for entertaining. Brian will love this. So this is really cute. Okay, this is perfect. So now who takes care? Would I have to worry about cutting the grass? Or no, is that you don't. Something? The, the strata covers that. This is massive. This is bigger than the upstairs one. It I mean, is. Yeah, for sure it is. It's nice that it's downstairs as a guest bedroom. It's out of the way. It's separate. It's got a little bit as of an a two door bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little cheater. For the tub. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh. That's a nice size. Yeah, it definitely is. Well, you know what? Storage. Can you, you could put storage in here too, right? Yeah, that's definitely what I would use it as is storage. This is a rancher style, so it has less stairs in it, and uh, it feels more open than the other place. And I think Kim really likes that feeling, and she thinks that Ryan is going to like the darker cabinets and the darker floor. Even though she loves white, it probably will be a good compromise for the two of them. I love the feeling when you walked in. It was more homey, more cozy. Um, I could see myself living here. I love that it has more of a basement, you know, where you could entertain. Um, yeah, I just felt a little bit more like a home, hey, yeah. than the last one. And I think the taste is much more Ryan's taste. It's not quite as modern and out there. So, yeah. Welcome back to Kelowna. The third house on our search is in a development called Dwell. This home boasts some unique interior design and decor, and its 1,700 square feet are spread over three floors. It's listed for 419,000. Look at this. This is very different. So I neat. love it. Yeah. So nice. The flooring too. Yeah. Oh, I see a remote. Don't you love remotes? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. The little Sorry. things that make us excited. You're sitting on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Close. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like the perfect amount of yard. It is. 
Do I love it? It's a nice big dining area space too. Yes. Yeah. And this wallpaper is so beautiful. Wallpaper is so in now. I hey, know, I'm it starting is. To, you start to see it more and more. The tones in this kitchen, you guys. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? They did they such are. an amazing job. Like the two tone cabinets. And this sink is amazing. Yeah. Oh, I see what they did here. So this was a full garage. Yeah. Okay, that you would park one here and one like back a there. Okay. And they've changed this into a theater room, which is brilliant. This is that perfect. Is. Ryan would love this. It could be a little man, man cave. cave. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the master bedroom. And this is a king, I'm pretty sure. Hey, yeah, yeah, this for is sure definitely is. king. You know what? There's not much room, but. The Who space cares? is utilized Sorry. really well, yeah. And this must be the closet. Okay, it's not as big, but that is not enough room. Yeah. Oh, there's two sinks. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay. Yeah. See, they must have renovated this because normally you wouldn't have two sinks in this no, in yeah. your own space. Only thing missing is a bathtub. I hope yeah. there's one in another yeah, room. Yeah, I'm sure we'll there see. is. Oh, Kimmy, there's your bathtub. Oh, perfect. Done. Okay, so I see what they did here, you guys. They took two bedrooms oh, wow. and made it into a den. This could be a big walk-in closet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is so pretty. So pretty. I think you would use this, Kim. Yeah, I would. This is really pretty. It's very private. Yeah. yeah like, like no one would see you if you were laying here tanning. <laughs> no one would see you. No. Yeah, this is really, this is massive. I love it. I have a feeling this is the one. The interior design in here is spectacular and it suits Kim and I think it'll suit Ryan. And uh, oh, it's beautiful. I love, love, love the rooftop patio. <laughs> yeah, that I stood would, out. I could sit up there all the time. I love like the little grass area there. Um, the master is not huge, but you know what, it works. I would have to figure out something for closet space, but I mean, for everything else you're getting, that's kind of the small trade-off, I think. Just of it, yeah. 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 Honestly, if I could just like wrap it up and take everything, <laughs> the furniture, <laughs> everything, pictures, I would take it all. I love this one, yeah. This home is part of what's called a planned urban development. Our expert explains more. So this project in particular is right in one of the city of Kelowna's five town centers, which makes it urban to its very nature. Um, what's great about it is it's close to employment opportunities. It's also close to a lot of amenities. They can walk to get a coffee, they can walk to grab groceries, they can walk to go see a movie. Kelowna actually has one of the highest, if not the highest, um, per capita vehicle ownership rate in Canada. So we are really trying to focus on getting people to live in urban environments and leave the car at home and be able to walk to places. So this development certainly speaks to that. While we leave the ladies to discuss Kim's options, we'll head back to Victoria to dig up some dirt around underground oil tanks. You go to sell a home, there, you know, there is a checklist of things you want to make sure you do before putting it on the market because that'll help maximize your, your potential sale price. Uh, one of the key things in Victoria is a buried oil tank. The first step to this process is getting your property surveyed to find out if there's a buried tank anywhere on the premises. If one is found, then it's time for the experts to get digging. Uh, well, I know for a fact there's 1,600 in Oak Bay alone. Saanich, there's thousands. Uh, Victoria is riddled. So there's enough work to keep me going for my lifetime anyway, so. The problem is widespread, but in most cases, the solution is quick and easy. We typically do three or four a day. Um, usually in about two hours, we can come in, have the machine come in, dig down to the tank, um, either pump it out to clean it or remove all the sand if it's already been inerted and then remove it from the ground, get the fire department here, inspect the hole, make sure there's no contaminants and then backfill. In this case, the tank hasn't leaked and the surrounding soil is clean. 
the local fire department is able to certify that there are no problems, which is a vital part of the process. Uh, well, basically it's all the insurance companies and the mortgage lenders now. You can't get house insurance if you've got an underground oil tank because nobody wants to buy a house and have to pay thirty, forty thousand dollars for remediation. The new buyers come in, everything's clean and they know they're never going to have to worry about it. So. Next up, we'll head back above ground into the sunshine of Kelowna to hear Kim's decision. Realtor Petrina Colton has shown Kim and Brandis three different townhomes in Kelowna. Which one will Kim want to show her boyfriend Ryan when he gets back into town? All right, you guys, this is the time when we narrow things right down. So we've been to Skyview, Winsome, and Dwell. Now, when you talk to Ryan on the phone tonight, what are you going to tell him about Skyview? Skyview, I'm going to tell him the awesome location, um, brand new, mm -hmm. the amazing rooftop patio, um, really modern, <laughs> so I can prepare him. Yeah. Um, those are the things about that place that I would let him know. Um, Winsome Hill, I love that it was a walkout rancher style. I love that it felt more like a home. It gave us a lot of space. We could definitely grow into it. Again, a really, really great location. Really classic finishes, you know, to everyone's taste. Um, the Dwell, different, but amazing. I think he will love the Dwell. You think so, yeah, right? I think that's where my heart is kind of telling me to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's funny because Dwell is the least expensive. Yeah, funny how we have about that. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. I know, right? <laughs> we usually pick the most expensive know, thing. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I think it was kind of a good mix between what we both like. And even though it was modern and different, it's a little bit, he likes things that are a little bit, you know, funky. yeah, funky. So I, I think, and the, the living space and the upstairs and the extra man cave, I think. Yeah, I think that's where at least I'm leaning towards, yeah. And the location is really good. The location is amazing, yeah. It's, it really can't get much better. I mean, you're really close to shopping. It's not too far from the downtown area. It's close to, you know, everything. It's very central, so. Yeah, and I love the feel of it. It's almost like a city feel, like what you'd find in a larger city, yeah. so, yeah. So, Brandis, thank you so much, and I know Kim appreciates yeah, you coming thank to help you us so with much. It's fun too. I have yeah. such it's a fun like time. It's like shoe shopping taken to the to next, next level. level. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a toast to showing Dwell to Ryan Yay. on the weekend. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.